This is a Fourier series question. We're given a signal x of t, and we're asked for the Fourier series representation. And it's a multiple choice question. So the first thing we'd need to find is the period, and we can get that straight from here. So t equals 2 pi. And from that, we know that omega naught is 2 pi over t. So that's 1 radian per second. second. So that's the first thing. The next thing we need to determine whether x of t is even or odd. So x of minus t is minus t squared, which is t squared, which is x of t. So therefore, x of t is even. Therefore, the sine components, the B components, are all zero. So the question, find the Fourier series, is actually a question of finding A0 and An. That's all we need to find. So how do we find A0? A0 is the DC value, it's the average value, so by definition it's 1 over t, the integral from minus half t to half t, x of t dt. So t is 2 pi, so we say it's 1 over 2 pi, minus pi to pi, t squared dt. So that's 1 over 2 pi times 1 over 3 times t cubed from minus pi to pi. So that gives you pi cubed minus minus pi cubed over 6 pi. And that gives you pi squared over 3. So that is A0. We found A0. So we can immediately eliminate this, this, no. We can, so all of these answers have the correct value for A0. So we can't eliminate any answer. So that's the first step, finding A0. A0 is pi squared over 3. So let's write that down as our first piece of um, information that we've found. OK, the next thing is to find An, the remaining cosine components. So by definition, it's 2 over t the integral from minus half t to half t, x of t cosine n omega naught t. Omega naught, remember we said that's just 1. So we can write that as 2 over 2 pi, the integral from minus pi to pi, t squared, times cosine nt dt. So that simplifies to 1 over pi. OK, so here we have an integral of t squared cosine nt. So here you're going to need integration by parts. So you need to do that twice because you've got the t squared. The result of that, after you've done the integration by parts twice, that's the result you get. So we can substitute that in there. So that will give us OK, so just to be clear here, A is equal to N. 
and x is t. So we have 2 t cosine nt over pi n squared plus n squared t squared minus 2 pi n cubed sine nt from minus pi to pi. So just as a reminder, sine n pi is always 0, and cosine n pi is either 1 or minus 1. So it's minus 1 to the power n. So that means that because that's 0, we don't need to worry about that term. So this simplifies to 2 pi minus 1 to the power n over pi n squared minus 2 times minus pi minus 1 to the power n <coughs> over pi n squared. So that will give you Four minus one to the power n over n squared because the pi will cancel with the pi. Okay, so what I've just found is a n. That's my a n. I've already found a naught. A naught was pi squared over three. So now we can write the expression for uh, x of t. So we can write the final Fourier series expression. So x of t equals a naught plus summation n equals 1 to infinity a n times cosine n omega naught t. So we substitute that in there and that in there, and one in there. So the final answer is pi squared over three, plus the summation from one to infinity, four times minus one to the power n, divided by n squared cosine nt. So that's my final Fourier series representation. And looking at the options here, it looks like it's this option here. So that's my a naught, that's my a n, including the 4 there, and that's your cosine term. Okay, so that is our final answer for the Fourier series expression.